Hey everybody, welcome back. Mark Spector Comics here. And this time I want to show a recent stack of books that I picked up. If you want to see what books I got, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. So, like I said, ended up getting a big stack of books um, probably within the last week or so. Just gone to a few comic shops, you know, antique shops, thrift stores, what have you. And uh, going through the back issue bins and just seeing, you know, what I've been able to pick up. So, um, in uh, no particular order, and most of these books I didn't spend more than like five, six bucks on them. So that, you know, they are pretty um, speckish, you know, some hot keys, some rumored keys, and so forth. So uh, if that's something you're into, I think you'll like these books. All right, so the first book is Master of Kung Fu, issue number 125. And this is the final issue for the um, original Master of Kung Fu series. I'm a big fan of uh, picking up final issues in, you know, in well-established series. I think they're hard to find, obviously, because it's going to be the, usually the lowest printed in the run. And, um, you know, this is just a great cover. And I've been hunting out for this cover for, uh, for this issue for quite some time. And I was happy to finally see it in the back issue bin. So that was pretty cool. And uh, it is a special double-sized collector's item issue. So I like seeing these cool little uh, emblems there in books. All right, next book is Ultraman number one. So this is this became hot, I want to say, about a week ago uh, when it was announced that there's potentially going to be a Netflix uh, series or something like that. I saw this at the same shop for 3 bucks, so I picked it up. It uh, says it right there. It's the Virgin Cover Edition by Ken Stacy, And it comes with one of three Mutant Monster cards. So uh, this one came with... And these are, uh, these are polybagged. So I'm a big fan. It's one of those like big 90s gimmicks for me is, is the uh, polybags. And this one came with uh, this monster on there. So, um, that was pretty cool. I was happy to see that for, uh, for three bucks. I went to, uh, an LCS today and I was looking for some more of these issues and I saw one there. He had, uh, issue one and two, both poly bag, but he wanted 12 bucks for issue one. So I was like, I'm not going to pass on that. And a fun little, uh, notation on this. This is also the first published virgin, um, variant. I want to say virgin variant cover uh, so that's another cool thing to note you know but um, nice uh, really cool character Marvel's been really pushing this character lately they came out with uh, two series I think two mini series so um, not the original Ultraman comic I believe it came out in the 50s it's a Japanese comic but this is a first US published comic for Ultraman um, Going back to the whole Captain America thing with Black Widow coming out next month. I think last, uh, next month? No, July. July. Um, this became hot. I picked this up for three bucks as well. And this is um, Captain America issue number 352 and 353. This has to do with the first appearance or the first team appearance of the Supreme Soviets. Um, Obviously, with uh, Black Widow, Natasha Romanoff's character being a Russian spy agent, they're going to be introducing Russian villains, obviously. So that kind of ties in, and um, I like these team appearances. It's pretty cool. So uh, look out for those two books. If you do find them, you can find them for cheap. What I thought was really neat was picking up this Real Heroes um, cover by uh, Marvel. This is by Marvel. This came out, I want to say, yeah, 94. 
Um, but this is a Pizza Hut insert. So um, you can see here, uh, Pizza Hut. So these are like the, like, you know, the random store, like early 90s store um, insert ads that you see. They're not worth much of anything, probably two bucks. I think I paid more for it than what it's actually worth. Uh, yeah, I think I paid four or five bucks for it. I think it's only worth two bucks. But um, they came with trading cards. And I, I think it was just pretty neat because I grew up going to Pizza Hut as a kid. And to see these in the wild, you don't see these often. So um, I thought that was pretty pretty cool pickup. And I actually picked up another Pizza Hut book today on an LCS. So I'll have to make a video on that. But uh, really cool. A little nostalgic. Let me know if you guys still have any Pizza Huts near you. <laughs> um, this book, there's been uh, recently a lot of these, you know, 2010 Avengers series or you know 2000s uh, Avengers series recently blowing up in price. Um, I feel like this book is trying to be something, and this is Avengers Arena issue number one. This is a bunch of first appearances on here. Um, first appearance of Death Locket, first appearance of Colin Bloodstone, which is Elsa Bloodstone's uh, brother. There's a, there's a bunch of them on there. I believe that's the character that's crossed off there. But um, not too too valuable of a book right now. I, I paid 5 bucks for it. I think it's probably worth around 5 to $10. But it's a nice little spec book, especially if they start going into the... Um, <coughs> excuse me. Into the uh, Supernatural. They're going to start going into these uh, characters. So um, this shop in Connecticut had not one, not two... But three copies, so I picked those up. The other one that's been blowing up recently is um, Avengers Academy number one. Also a bunch of uh, first team appearances on there, so if you can find that for cheap, highly recommend it. Um, this one I was really caught off by as a surprise. This was in the uh, dollar bins. So uh, this is Marvel Now point one, issue number one. And I forget when this came out, if this was in 2009 or 2014, but uh, we all know that America Chavez is coming into the MCU, is going to be in Doctor Strange 2. This is actually her first cover appearance. And you see uh, Nick Fury there throwing these uh, comic books across onto the actual cover, and you see her right there. So this is her first cover appearance. Um, it's one of those books that you often, you know, just pass by in the, in the back issue bins. This happened to be in the dollar bin, so I picked up a bunch of these. Not in the, you know, greatest condition. It's not like near mint or anything like that, but, um, but for a dollar, I pick these up all day, every day. Um, so I got one, not two, not three, not four, but five copies of issue number one so if you see these i highly recommend it um i think when when people start to get more into this and realizing that this is her first cover appearance as the character continues to grow which it will this book's going to go up in value even more um i think it's going around the 10 to 15 dollar range right now in high grade so uh a buck a piece, you can never go wrong. A buck a piece, you can never go wrong in any book. But uh, that was a cool little spec book to pick up on the cheap. Um, and the last book, I've been specking on this this series for probably a few years now, and then all of a sudden, this past week, um, this this you know series got announced that they may you know, be having a villain, you know, coming up in a future, I'm trying to think of what, what it was, some like hashtags, um, YouTube channel or something like that, or a story dropped that Blackout was going to be appearing, he was a, a villain that appeared in the, I think the second Ghost Rider movie, so the characters already appeared, but um, I think they're going to be establishing this character again in a future a, project of some sort but I don't honestly buy it 
because there's so many other supernatural characters that would do better than that character. But this run in particular is a hot run because Ghost Rider 28 was announced that is going to be a, a team appearance of the Midnight Suns appearing in a future series, which I've been speculating that, that this team is going to be showing up anyways. So I've been telling people to pick up that whole one through six part series for quite some time. And this was part two. This is Spirits of Vengeance, uh, issue number one. So this is part two of number six. And if you can see here, it's the newsstand, which are much harder to get. And these are, you know, I've been buying all the poly bags. Because like I said, it's one of my fun little 90s gimmicks I like to get is the poly bags. It does have the uh, poster in the back, which they all come with. But uh, I don't think there's anything key about this. But as like a collector of the whole run, it's definitely worth picking up. If you can get it for like five bucks or less. Ghost Rider 28, I want to say is a 20 to $30 book, which for the longest time it was like a 10 to $15 book. So it's starting to pop up a little bit, but uh, if you're patient, it, it'll go back down. It's been going up and down for a while. And um, and this, uh, this is also a cheap one to get. Look out for Ghost Rider 31, which is the first full team appearance of the Midnight Suns. I think that book is going to go up as well, put much more room for growth than uh, 28. But um, for $5 or less, pick it up every day of the week. I got this for a dollar. So uh, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my uh, fun little spec uh, haul pickup. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. What are you waiting for? <laughs> and I got some more uh, books I picked up today. Picked up a really nice um, Bronze Age book today. Horror style. My favorite, my favorite type of uh, pickups. But uh, stay tuned for that as well. That's, that'll be coming up soon. Probably this weekend I'll record that. So uh, until next time, more expert to comics. Out.